have a friend or someone you know that takes pictures and you don't know what to get them for a gift? In this video, I'm gonna be sharing some uh, awesome gift ideas for people who take pictures, AKA photographers. Let's get it. What's up, I'm Omar Zakori and this channel is all about helping you take better photos. And so if that's something you're interested in or you know somebody that's interested in that, I do my best, I try my best to do a video once per week. I fail every week, but uh, that's what I'm trying to do. Also, I wanna let you know that I'll be linking every gift idea in the description below. Um, and so if you wanna click and see more reviews or even just check out current prices and stuff like that, just make sure you check out the description and uh, let's get into the gifts, right? Let's go. There's a book that I love called The Five Love Languages and um, five, the five love languages actually are, um, they are words of affirmation, they're quality time, they're acts of service, they're uh, physical touch, and then they're gifts. And you know what, you know me and my wife, you know she's not necessarily a gifts person, but I'm a gifts guy and I'm a photographer and I thought of like how many people, you know, maybe guys like me that would just appreciate gifts that kind of lend to what we do. But I don't know if my wife or even friends of mine or family members for that matter know that uh, things that I would appreciate. And so I kind of gathered up some stuff that I think I'd appreciate if I was a, you know, if I was a up and coming photographer or even just in general, like the season I am in now, I've been doing a freelance photography for about a year and a half. Uh, it's been an awesome experience, but nonetheless, there's still things that people I would super appreciate. Uh, me being a gifts person, that I would uh, know you love me. Um, so, with that being said, here are some gift ideas for photographers, and typically, more or less, they're all going to be on the budget friendly side. So, uh, let's get into them. The first one is a desk blower, and uh, I found this to come in super clutch. Uh, whenever I'm doing shoots outside. I do a lot of my shoots in natural light, outdoors, and so sometimes, even indoors, dust will fly around, and when I'm switching my lenses, you can typically, when the light hits, you can see uh, dust on your, you know, your, on your mirror inside your camera, or your, uh, your sensor, or even on the inside of your lens, or just on the outside, but this thing uh, just literally gets the dust out. It's super awesome, um, and I just think in general, and what's funny is like I just never bought this, and uh, someone I knew had an extra one and gave it to me, but I've done so many shoots where I would go back home to then process the images, and then I go to see that uh, there's speckles in the in the in the images, and you know when you do video, it's even a harder process to try to remove that. So, however, this could be come in clutch if someone doesn't have it, or you um, or you know they have it and they can use a second another one. Um, make sure to check out the cleaning kit for a uh, camera. Super cheap stuff. And the next gift idea are SD cards. You know, uh, as a photographer, we go through so many of these and it's not a good thing. We should actually be better at, um, you know, keeping these safe and putting them in good places. Um, however, I just occasionally, you know, through weeks and months at a time, they just, the numbers just dwindle. And honestly, like cards are just getting better and faster. And now cameras are even kind of requiring more speed from uh, memory cards. So I've linked up some uh, awesome, great SD cards that I think uh, will be a, you know affordable on your end, but also very helpful for a photographer friend or someone you know. And I tr trust me, they will love you for this. Trust. And the next thing kind of just rolls over from the SD card, and that is actually an SD card holder. Um, I've this purchase is probably one of the best purchases I made this year too. I mean, everything kind of talk about has just been great purchases. It just comes in super handy uh, whenever you're on, uh, you know, like a shoot or something and you run out of space just to know exactly where they are. And I typically will put the card if uh, upside down if I know I can't clear it and it's not good to be used. But um, I mean, that's just a tip for someone who can use it. But nonetheless, like just a great, uh, awesome purchase for someone who takes pictures and if you need one for yourself, because you probably have a digital camera. Okay, I'm going on and on. The next gift is another thing I just keep on losing and I don't know why, but that is extra caps for your lenses and your camera. Uh, you know, I have a couple cameras too, to be exact, and you know, uh, Amazon makes it very affordable for alternative. It doesn't have to be a like super brand name, but this uh, bundle came for eight bucks and it came with like five covers for each, a little excessive, but awesome if, you know, I bought it for myself, but if somebody gifted me this, that just would have been super th thoughtful. Um, but also lens caps, you know, if, if you're close to the person, like let's say you're married or you're dating someone and you can kind of scope out their lenses, make sure you go check for the, the lens, not necessarily the lens they're using, but there's a number inside the lens that shows you what size cap it would be. And um, typically uh, they're just right inside the lens or if you get the lens cap, it's underneath the lens cap. So 
Um, but trust me, we lose these all the time too. So uh, lens caps and covers for your camera, super clutch. That's another awesome one. The next clutch gift idea for a photographer is this newer reflector 43 inch little thingy that really gets massive, dude, as you can see. Uh, typically, so this one actually has gold and silver if you invert the, uh, the outer thing. But what I typically use this for is the white. And what's cool about the white is if, you know, you're shooting something or someone where you're using back, like again, natural photographer. I don't typically use flash. Um, it's maybe in a reception or when it's like super night outside. But if, if uh, the sun was behind somebody or the sun was setting, I'll have someone or myself even just hold this while I take a picture and what the, the, the just the, the, the slight bounce from the sun or whatever lights coming in from a window can then go on the subject. And if someone who's backlit can now be uh, front lit and you can, you know, up those shadows or whatever. But this is only 20 bucks. Uh, probably the best thing, I always keep it in my car because I know it'll, um, if I forget to bring it to a shoot and I can just run back to the car and get it. So uh, an awesome buy for a gift idea. The next gift idea is an Easy Act portable uh, charger. Um, I just vouch for this one because this is the only one I have and I've, it's given me zero problem with, problems whatsoever. Uh, specifically, this one is $50, but they have some that range from 27, from even $13, um, $30. Um, but this one in particular, I, I, I can go on a trip, on a, you know, a weekend trip, and not even bring a wall charger for my phone. Um, also, it can charge other batteries just because it's, you know, USB compatible and a lot of my, even my camera battery chargers, you know, have a USB cord on them. Um, but, I mean, also has a flashlight, which could come in handy. But the, a portable charger would just be such a thoughtful gift for somebody, uh, and especially one that's not uh, junk. You know, I've, I've had, a, I've gone through a handful and I've landed on this one finally. Just wanted to put my money where my mouth was uh, and just get something good for a while. And um, I found that easy... ACC or Easy Ack. Easy Ack. The next gift idea is this Peak Design camera strap. And what I love so much about this is it's a quick release strap. So if you're shooting and you want to take off your camera very fast, you know, uh, you can simply click the buckles and the strap just comes right off. And then if you want to click back to the camera, it clicks right back on and you're good to go. Um, what's cool about this though is the material they use is like a very high quality seat belt material, which I found works the best when uh, you're rotating your camera because your camera stays at this pivot point and you know sometimes they have they're too grippy and you're, you're you're finding yourself like rolling your shoulders or whatever to get the your know, camera right but this just slides super smooth uh, this one in particular is is uh is sixty dollars they have some for 35 and that's a little thinner but typically i it's it's when i'm having a heavier set you know my camera and a bigger lens maybe my flash and it's all being carried by this. And so when I need to take a break or fix something before I take a picture of it, this just comes in really handy. And um, probably one of my favorite purchases this year because uh, when I do events or do receptions, um, a lot of the times I usually use light setups, but there are the instances that calls for a heavier uh, lens and a heavier setup in general. And it really is hard on the wrist when you're just holding it the whole time. Even if you're switching hands, it's just really a lot of pressure on the wrist that um, you use to take the pictures. So uh, this Peak Design camera strap um, is a super awesome uh, gift idea for someone you know that takes pictures. The next gift idea is awesome because it turns something they probably already have into a new use for it, and that is their backpack. And um, what I'm specifically talking about is this thing. Now what is this thing? It's just a simple case that is very that is padded and has sections and velcro that allows you to put in equipment like i.e your camera into these things like this and like this it also fits the mavic pro uh, which is a drone and the cool thing about this is it just simply goes into a backpack and you're good to go it turns a backpack into a camera bag and most photographers don't travel that heavy where you need a legit camera bag and so they probably have a jan sport or like a nice decent backpack laying around that's Putting this in there and even leaving this open just allows you to go in and grab something and you're good to go. Uh, but this is an awesome affordable option. They have a few different sizes. Again, like links to all this stuff that I'm talking about is in the description. Um, but check this out. This, this can be a good one because um, like I said, it turns something they probably already have into a new use. And you can even use a side bag with it. And it just, the biggest thing is like the dividers and the, and the cushion in general. But awesome little uh, compartment thing that I really admire.
And the last final gift is kind of based off of how much you know the person you're buying the gift for. And for me, I love coffee. Um, I don't know if this is just a weird generalization and you can call me crazy, but I think a lot of photographers just like coffee. Am I right? Am I right? Okay, maybe I'm wrong, just kidding. Uh, but I think like a cool coffee book, just an awesome book of some sorts. It could be a coffee book, a book on photography, maybe look up the brand of camera they use and there's like a cool coffee table book for that. But something they can put on their desk or their coffee table. And you know, I've kind of like spent the last uh, few weeks kind of like upping my little office in my, in my house and you know, I'm just, starting to appreciate the little things that people have gotten me. Like somebody got me this and my wife this on Valentine's Day and I love it. It just sits on our coffee table. It's super clean and um, it's, uh, I don't know, freaking cool books, man. Um, but nonetheless, that's just a, a little extra icing on the cake. So that wraps up the gift ideas for the photographer. I hope you found this video valuable, maybe got some ideas, uh, found something that maybe sparked an interest that can lead to another thing. Um, if there's anything that you think uh, you're gonna buy or anything, let me know in the comment section what you think. And also, if if uh, you have any questions, you know, give me give me the scenario and the context of the person you're buying it for, and maybe I can help. I'm pretty active on answering comments, and uh, I'll do my best. Again, if you found value out of this video, if you can hit that like button, I'd appreciate it. Also subscribe if you aren't already. And then um, maybe I'll just see you in the next video. Hopefully, maybe you'll find me again when I do another gift ideas. I don't know, but uh, nonetheless, I have appreciated the time we spent together. Other than that, I hope I can see you soon. Check out the other videos if you haven't already and uh, take it easy.